Hey guys, welcome back to the Linux Essential series for hackers. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to enumerate uh, system information on Linux. Now, you might be wondering, well, what exactly do you mean here? Well, I'm simply referring to uh, important information about your system and the user you're currently logged in as. Just information that you might need when you're currently logged onto a system and you might want to know more about what you're dealing with. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first, uh, the, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out what user we're currently logged in as and the host name and the user ID, etc. etc. All right, so let's get started with that. So, uh, the first thing I want to know when I'm logged in is uh, who am I exactly, and that tells me the current user that I'm logged in as. And then, if I type in host name, uh, that again gives me the current host name of this uh, workstation or of this uh, computer. In my case, it tells me I'm running uh, the host name is a Lexus uh, workstation. Now, if you do want to change your uh, your host name uh, you can you can do so by uh, by modifying the host name file i believe uh, that's what it's, it's called the yeah there we are and uh, you can see that mine is set to alexis workstation or ws which is an abbreviation of workstation so you can change this and in, in my case i don't want to do this so i'm just going to exit out of here um, so that is how to find out the current user you're logged in as and uh, the host name now, if you want to find the user ID uh, that you're currently logged in as, you can simply type in ID. Uh, that gives you the current user ID. Um, and again, of course, the user. You then have the group ID, which is quite important, and the other groups that this user is currently a part of. Now, um, in regards to groups and uh, the groups that uh, a particular user may be a part of, uh, the way to enumerate this information is by typing in groups and then the name of the user. So we can type in groups Alexis. And once we hit enter, again, it tells us uh, the user Alexis is a part of this group. So it's a part of uh, the group Alexis, uh, sudo, among the other ones here that are essentially system uh, system accounts here that you or system groups that uh, really have to do with just permissions uh, to a particular service. Um, so that is basic user enumeration. Now let's talk about uh, a little bit about the system and uh, enumerating information like um, like your uh, like your Linux distribution, uh, the version, stuff like that. So uh, I'm currently using a Debian system or I'm using Ubuntu. So again, it's based on Debian. So the, the practices are uh, all the, the techniques and the commands are quite similar on both ends. Now when dealing with, uh, you know, system D based distributions uh, and all, of course, Red Hat based distributions, the process is going to be slightly different and I'll explain why and how. Um, so on Linux, if you on uh, sorry on um, on uh, on Debian or on Ubuntu, if you want to enumerate your uh, Linux uh, if you want to enumerate your Linux distribution version and the name, you simply type in LSB release A. And of course, LSB is a utility, and you may not have it installed, but uh, again, it comes with um, with Debian and Ubuntu by default. So again, that tells us uh, the distributor, the distributor ID, the description. Again, Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, 0.3 LTS, uh, the release name, uh, sorry, the release version and the code name here, which in this case is Bionic Beaver. Um, so again, you can also use the check the contents of the issue file. So if we type in uh, cat etsy issue, you can see it tells us the same thing here. Um, so that is for Debian based distributions. Now, um, when dealing with system D distributions like um, uh, CentOS, Arch, uh, Red Hat, uh, also Debian to to some extent. You can also use the you can also take a look at the content within the OS release uh, file, which will also enumerate on Debian as well. But I just wanted to explain that so you guys don't get confused. All right. So what you can do is just simply type in cat etsy um, OS OS release, and again that gives us the information that we were looking for. Now on um, on Ubuntu and on Debian, if I hit enter, it tells us nothing there. If I then use uh, the star or the wildcard, we hit enter. That gives us the Linux distribution information and a bit more information regarding the privacy policy, uh, support URL, stuff like that. And um, now that's uh, now that we have also covered the system D. Uh, based distributions. Let's talk about uh, dealing with Red Hat. Now, on Red Hat, um, if you want to take a look at the uh, the Red Hat release version, uh, you can. I believe you can find it if I type in cat etc and then you type in Red Hat uh, release. Now, I'm currently not using a Red Hat uh, based distribution, so that would pretty much give you the Red Hat release version. 
Um, so that's basically enumerating your uh, distribution name, uh, your distribution version and name. Um, if you are using, uh, you know, some of these uh, distributions based on Debian or the systemd based distributions like Arch, uh, CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Um, so again, uh, let's talk about, um, you know, enumerating information about your processor or your CPU. Uh, so you can easily do this by typing in LS CPU and we can hit enter. And again, that enumerates information about your CPU. So it gives you information like your architecture and the instruction set, um, the amount of uh, the amount of cores, uh, the threads per core, the cores per socket, the sockets, uh, vendor ID. Uh, CPU family, the model, model name, uh, in this case it's an i5-8400, uh, the stepping, the, uh, the, the frequency here in megahertz, uh, so max and minimum as well, so 4, gig by, uh, 4 gigahertz and the minimum of 800 megahertz, uh, virtualization, and then the L1, L2, and L3 cache, and so information about your CPU. All right, so now that we've taking a look at enumerating CPU information, let's take a look at enumerating kernel uh, information, which is done using the uname, uh, using the uname command or utility, which essentially stands for uh, Unix name. Uh, so again, if we just type in what is uh, uname here, and you can see it uh, prints system information and gets the name and information about the current uh, kernel. So using it is very, very simple. Uh, so if we type in uname, A, that displays all the information. So again, it gives you information about like your uh, your host name, the current Linux kernel that's that's installed and currently running, and then uh, you have the uh, you then have the instruction set here. I'm going over the inf uh, the important information. So again, we can uh, we can actually take a look at the various options that are available here. So uh, again, we can say if we want the kernel uh, we, if we want the kernel version here, we can type in uh, we can say uh, uname s and that tells us the kernel that we're currently running which is a linux kernel uh, the version here can be printed out by typing uname uh, i believe it's uname r that's the kernel release so in our case it's version 4.15 uh, which i believe is uh, stable I'm not too sure um, and then if you want uh, again if you want the um, the information about the uh, the instruction set for your processor you can type in uname uh, uname p Again, that gives you the instruction set in our case, it's x86-64. Uh, uh, and then if we want the hardware platform, we can type in a uh, uname i. Uh, so we can say uname i, the hardware platform. Again, that's the, that's, uh, the information in regards to the architecture. And then uh, the uh, operating system, uh, we can say uname o, and hit enter GNU Linux. So again, just basic information regarding your system but uh, the key uh, bits of uh, the important pieces of information here are your kernel and the instruction set of course so that's essentially all the information uh, that you might want to enumerate regarding your system or you might be interested in now dealing with um, with disk usage and um, disk uh, and disk usage disk space uh, i'll be making a separate video on that so uh, you guys can stay tuned for that. But in, in regards to your system, this uh, these are all the commands that you can use to find information about your the current uh, user that's logged in. Uh, so again, if I type in who, again, that tells me the current users that are logged in. In oh, my case, it's uh, the, the only user is Alexis. So that's just an additional tidbit. So again, we've covered, uh, you know, the user ID, the group ID, and uh, we've also covered enumerating distribution information and the kernel information. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.